Bienvenue, how do you do? Welcome man, how have you been? I, your boulder, I'm back again, and today's viewing selection is Satisfactory. The Factory Game. Footage you're about to see is from July 6, 2023. Uh, if you're looking to watch the longer form of this, you can check it out on my VOD channel, which you can also subscribe to. My original microphone cuts in and out, so I did an editing with the VO Pass. If you like it, leave a like. If you want more, subscribe. And if you've got feedback, leave a comment. Au revoir. And until I behold you again, I'll be to Now behold, satisfactory. Let's start the commentary, I suppose. Okay, we're in the grass fields. I didn't have the right mic settings when I first recorded this, but instead we're going to do something different where we do some VO, narrate what's happening, and then I analyze what's happening for myself whilst he plays, I mean, on past self, and... We'll do it a little bit like game tape, and then I'll cut it up later, and we'll see if anybody wants to watch it. Good 80, 100 hours worth of footage. So, if you guys like Satisfactory, stay tuned and, you know, like and subscribe for more, and we'll, I'll try to get as much as I can cut up, uh, put out as fast as possible over the next couple months. We got a hog, and then I walked over here because I wanted this starting place rather than... Uh, the one by the coast, or, or by the cliff coast, and he fell as he tripped. We're just doing a little gardening, picking up this stuff. I do enjoy the very beginning of the game a lot. This is probably why I've done, you know, the five to ten places. The remains of this creature might shed light on how to increase chances of survival. A new research tree can now be accessed in the MAM. This is one of multiple edibles we have detected in your vicinity, which are within approved nutritional and medical categories as established by R&D. A new research tree can now be accessed in the MAM. I want to play it for multiple hundreds of hours, so I'm going to see if I can get some vicarious thrill out of watching my old self play, because I know I was like in the zone for half the stuff, which is the best part of the game, uh, where you're just doing calculations, mental math, all left, right, center. How many fluids can get to this pipe in a minute? You know, cubic meters and stuff. It's a lot of fun being playing with metric. Uh, makes sense. If you did all this in English in units or Imperial, it was kind of crazy. This first base, I remember as being pretty sloppy, but um, functional. And then there's... Yeah, I remember this base now. It's going to be interesting watching the whole thing grow as I built it. I remember how it's built, of course. So, um, and that's just the way it goes. Interesting, like, um, and now, we, ooh, yay, our first milestone, that's the word. I'm watching this on my, uh, editor, and then I'm gonna match up the audio later, but, so it's playing it less than prettiness. I guess I could bump up the quality. And do we have another hog for our copper mine? Use the copper to block the hog. They don't have a good turning radius, so you just gotta get inside it and cut them off. Hit them with the stunner. We don't have a foundation yet, so we can't line up the copper. Playing these games, and you think about the philosophy behind it, and there's a fix-it company, which is wonderful. Got all this crazy stuff that you can warp in. But you still have to upgrade all of the weapons, which is good for, like, a player. But in a real-world, you know... Uh... Oh, yeah, without my <laughs> Ethereum jumpers, it's really, really hard to get around quickly. The best part about the experimental build is that you can wear all your stuff at once. And I love it for that. I don't but... care how many times it crashes. Because it would be very interesting if you had to, if they were all finite and you had to expand like that in Star StarCraft. Um, and I'm sure there's a mod that you could probably build that's like that, where you would have to expand. And it would be pretty interesting, especially with the new blueprinting. Uh, you get a little bit of concrete, we get a foundation, base building. The concrete for the top right, base building, milestone. And then... Wishing we had more than 60 items per minute built. Because I get impatient. Oh, I remember this. I make a little belt highway. We'll see it grow. 
it's not a good looking one, but we'll get there. Most of this stuff, I'm just oh, we saw a uh, power slug. We'll go slug hunting later. There's plenty, plenty of footage and stuff like that. Uh, I've got ideas for, and oh, we're building a little uh, biomass because we got a lot, and we're gonna be needing to upgrade the biomass to fuel, biofuel later. Biomass uh, put together it's a put from the wood and leaves, and then that horse burns slower than wood and leaves, so we can spend more time building and less time, you know, gardening. Then we'll get a chainsaw, we can clean up all these little shrubberies very easily. Okay, we cut ahead for that, and then we're going to be making what from our iron ingots? Yep, we got to finish this to-do list on the right side. We need reinforced iron plates, uh, two smelters, or the two miners that we have going. We need to, because there's only belts and no splitters, we need to have one miner per smelter per constructor until we get a splitter. And then after that, we do a little bit of math. And I, I remember correctly, this playthrough, I don't do the best math and it looks a little pasta y, uh, especially at the beginning. But we will watch and see. Uh, you notice I don't have the, I don't believe that's, I believe that's the leaves on the left that I don't have hooked up because there are no splitters. And I just need it making the biomass and then I can shove more leaves in as opposed to having the wood, which is very biomass dense. It needs to be constantly drained into the um, overflow bin, the storage bin, I should say. We don't have a hundred plates, and we don't have a hundred bars, and we don't have any constructors yet to make them. Uh, we could handcraft them, but I think he's gonna make. Yeah, he's gonna make the constructors after this, and yeah, it's gonna be a tight squeeze because this was not planned out well, especially because if I had powered the concrete factory earlier. Uh, having a foundation would really make it this uh, could have pre-planned this and instead of building all of this tearing it down later and rebuilding it we could have planned it a little bit better on a foundation and then kept it all square and then it would be easily expandable part of the problem with uh, these early builds is that they're not easily expandable because once you get splitters, you can try to do all of the fancy um, manifold lineups you want, but you get to later and you still don't have belts fast enough, especially for, like I found this out in a recent playthrough, um, the screws are your biggest problem because they're going to overload your belts, overflow your belts all the time if you're doing enough production and that's just going to be stacking up 500s in each of your screw constructors. So, you're not going to be able to unload all of the screws that you create until, unless you start making like direct to bin. I think this is my second or third time. I think it's only my second time playing with blueprints. So they're going to be a little bit janky, but uh, my j blueprints right now are janky. Who gives a crap? Um, I need more copper. I need some wire. I need to cut copper ore. I need copper ingots and the copper wire. Yeah, we need the bench and then do a little handing hand work and the wire and make cable and then when now we're connecting this up to the power grid so that we can mine directly do a little bit of cleanup clickety clicky click 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 I'm wishing I had more concrete I think I can foundation Oh man, quick and dirty. This is, mm, I don't like my belts on the grass. I got angry because I don't have any foundations. I think that's what happened. Uh, there's so many stuff going on at once. I got all my crafters building. Oh, I forgot to set it. Crap. Oh, got plenty of uh, iron rods. Yeah, the iron rods run less than um, the plates per minute. It costs more. Oh man, we ran out of power. You hate to see that. It's like getting supply capped in StarCraft 2. Just a little bit of quick crafting. I think I'm trying to get my power grid back online. 
Oh, okay. The biomass generators that need to be online. Uh, there's plenty. I mean, we could add another power. We should add more power. We should have just added more power. Rob, what are you doing? Yeah, you got the... Oh, I guess you need more uh, copper wire. And screws and iron plates. You're maybe smarter than me. A little weak on wire, right? Get some and copper. I just told myself I'm weak on wire, so we're going to build some copper. This is one of the very few times my bike was working this day. All right, we have automated copper into the smelter. Set me a copper ingots, and then at least we have one of the steps automated. And we can uh, front run the wire construction right now. And I guess we're done. We got our wire, bottom right, or I should say on the right side on our to-do list. We're now running short on cable. Oh, that's a bummer. Concrete! I need more iron plates to make a uh, storage bin, which means we need more power. We needed the biomass burners, and we'll catch back up. It's interesting having having the, uh, the hub on stilts. Always forget. I want, 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 and I always forget that I don't have the bats yet. Ha ah, ha ha! Now I need, uh, I need cable. We're making some reinforced iron plates. Just uh, two per constructor. There we go. Do a little bit of hand crafting. Not even powered yet. That's unfortunate. And we don't have any cable. Oh my god. We just gotta make a little bit of cable. I can feel the frustration in my pass up. Because you just want stuff to work, and then it's, you just don't have enough because you get short sighted and you don't think about planning. Indecision, indecision. Let's top all of. Top all of this up so we can get some uh, biofuel. It says we have six plates and there's 30 per minute per constructor. I believe we only have one iron plate constructor. I believe it's actually only 30 ingots in. It's only 20 plates out per minute. It's been a, been a little bit. My friend, more copper wire. Citizens to do their part and harvest alien artifacts. <laughs> I'm supposed to harvest alien artifacts. Most of that stuff is still like work in progress. I can't imagine what it's going to be when they incorporate all that stuff because if there's like teleportation or a reason for mass, mass, mass production of stuff, that'd be kind of cool. But then you have to have the game not crash when there's too many objects in the game. Like if you watch the I'm Kibbich channel, then these had a lot of crashes. I had some crashes, and so I've, I've had, you know, the FPS drops when you get to nuclear power level. But when they get it optimized, uh, if they get it optimized, that'll be great. I mean, it's pretty darn good right now, especially for the first 100 hours of the game. But if you get to 200 and you've been playing, you've been building the whole time, it's even customizing, it limits your FPS. I think we're still climbing towards automated stuff for um, the milestone, which we need logistics, which is the splitters and stuff, which would help, but not uh, not essentially until you get level two belts, and the level two belts are helped uh, uh, with our reinforced iron plates, and they're 120 items per minute. The problem with all of these iron um, nodes is that they're all impure. Which uh, means they're only, I think, on level one mic mark, or I should say, mark one minor. They're only thirty min thirty items a minute, which is great for uh, level one belts because you don't need to uh, worry about overloading or or setting up more nodes than you have to. You have to set up all these nodes, which you know takes more power. But if you can get the power going, which we want, looks like we have done, we just need to build more biomass burners, and we've got the uh, Automation for all the parts for them. So I think I built at least three or four more. We're doing a little bit of exploring. 
We don't even have the man yet. Uh, I was, or at least I haven't seen him build it. It's a very satisfactory feeling when you've cleared an area. And I know that's like a very... But it's a, it's a very satisfying feeling seeing the visible progress for somebody with ADHD. It's wonderful. If you ever watch those pressure washing videos, you know what I'm talking about. But I don't really wash them because... Or I don't watch them. I don't really wash them. I don't really power wash. I have never power washed in my life. Um, but I don't really watch the power washing videos anymore because it just makes me want to do stuff. Which I guess is part of why people like them, but then why would you keep watching? It's like watching the weather channel to figure out what's going on outside and you just keep watching the weather channel. I actually don't know if that analogy is correct, but let me know in the comments. We're getting plenty of wire. All right. We need to get that logistics going. And we're back. We have played for 40 minutes in game. Can you really say we're back from outer space when you're on an alien planet? Because I know everybody's brain went there. As I said, we're back. I know everybody's brain. I know all of you thought from outer space. I know you did. Because it's Pavlovian at this point. But we are back. Uh, and we are finally doing all the juice. Woo! Oh, that's satisfying. It's a little... I, I always forget to like watch the uh, thing that lifts off because I'm always ready to go to the next thing and we got our conveyor and our merger. I think I talked over the whole thing. As long as you have enough power, be good to go. Hang on. So we have enough power now, uh, we don't have enough space for the building of the production, and at least we don't have enough clean space. It's hard to build effectively on a hillside without foundations and stuff like that and terrace it out. Um, and I know what he's going to do, I know, I know what I'm going, my past self is going to do, but if I were to do it now, obviously I'd probably do it differently just because it would grow organically differently from if I place the constructors you know uh, another couple 20 meters out in the middle of the field like down where the pathway is that looks kind of like a like a track between this big cliff and the other pinnacle or uh, precipice the pride rock looking thing and left right and center uh we have our splitter this is not lined up and then we have a merger on the other side i think this is or bars, iron rods, and then we're gonna convert. We're gonna split it again and go into screw production uh, a little bit down, like 20 meters away. Milestone exchange concluded. Fix it freighter reentry. Oh yeah, yeah. I came back. I'm gonna set up two new miner. This still set. I'm gonna set up two new miners. Maybe three. Maybe three. Oh. Get the foundations going. Pay attention to where you are, not to what you want. Go. Uh, Alright, so I am going to build all this out. I'm a little disappointed in myself right now. This is this is poorly planned. This is just... I built, I think, maybe three bases since this. Um, I've recorded... Or two and a half. Well, two and a half. I've gotten complete um, on this one. Completed, and then... Got a little distracted there. Yes, we did. Couldn't tell you what we were thinking of. Oh, we did. We did get distracted. Oh yeah. See. Oh yeah. I wonder how many times I make that noise in a day. Oh yeah. Taking our merry time. I don't like them being in the road. Uh. What are you doing? This was a long time to make this, but I guess I was second guessing myself the whole way. Usually, I'm much quicker at uh, putting up constructor lines for our screws. Stop crafting. Okay. We're out of wire now. Because we used it all on cable. That's really funny. See? This is the kind of slow stuff that happens when you don't have a foundation to build on. Like a literal foundation. The concrete ones in the game. You just kind of haphazard and you, you spend a whole lot of time placing instead of being confident in your placement. And it just wastes a lot of time. And it just makes directing. It makes routing. It makes everything so much easier to have the floor plan somewhat laid out 
and blueprinting, you know, is great when you can unlock it, but it's, uh, I guess that's the, the point is to make you appreciate the automation later in the game because this is bothering me, but I'll have to forgive myself and learn it, learn self-forgiveness and all that. You could do a lot of math to balance it all, but when you're going to upgrade them and they're not maxed out late anyway, you want them to be close to maxed out as possible. So you can plan on, uh, I, or at least I do, I should say all this is with my caveat that I play like this is I use a lot of power slugs um, because I want less machines. I want a, a smaller footprint. It still ends up being like a mega factory half the time. So it's very interesting. There's a lot of like just picking up little bits in here. So I think we're doing another um, here in a minute. Yep, we're putting stuff in the base building. And da -da -da -da. It'd be cool if you had like a little wish list of the maybe the Milestone. item icon. You have unlocked several structures. Oh, you already have that. Never mind. I'm describing exactly what's there. Infrastructure and improved overview. Building these will provide a grid for more advanced organizing and sectioning of your factory. Yeah, I like to burn the pedals. I really don't. Uh, that's one of the things I haven't figured out yet for the pedals what they're there for. I mean, color cartridges are for something, but I forget what they're for. They're still in the game. But in one of my other playthroughs, I basically fed all of my flowers into the awesome sink. And then I started deleting them. Because they're, you know, relatively worthless after you get it to a point. It's not it's not even worth your time to walk over to an awesome sink or, or keep them in your bag at all. What are you doing? Are we going to reroute all this stuff? Yeah, I think we're going to build some closer storage bins. I like to have them all around abouts, but this haphazard nonsense is bothering me. Just needed more constructors for what? Uh, are we going to make these into iron rods or iron plates? I think it's pl uh, more rods. No? Yeah, rods. This is why you want a foundation. Like, I have the technology now. Concrete's right there. Um... I just, when it was added, I didn't look in my building tree and add it to my hotbar. So I don't have it in my mental bank or organi helping organize this part, which I have to tear it all down later. And it's just annoying, but it's not too bad. I mean, it takes like only a couple seconds, probably a minute, minute or three at most to tear it all down. There's something about assimilators there, and uh, I agree. We need to get our reinforced iron plate manufacturing set up. We also need to build the face elevator, apparently. All right. Are you going to send it? Oh, I need more. <laughs> more screws. The Assembly is right there. Milestone reach. The molecular analysis machine, referred to as the MAM, will allow R&D to provide new technologies, items, and buildings based on samples collected in the field. To ensure a greater chance of success during exploration, an upgraded tool belt has been provided, as well as an object scanner and beacons. Note, the object scanner requires calibration via the MAM to enable detection of specific objects. Okay, so I'm building an object scanner before I build foundation. We don't need too many, so it's not going to be... I don't need to cut that up. We are next milestone is part assembly. Cable, iron bars, screws, and plates. Early builds. That's part of the fun of it. Like, you learn StarCraft. But if you figure out your style and you find a build that works for it, go. Like this one is ingots into wire into cable. And the thing about the wire and the cable, I want to save the wire or have a have a distribution to the bin of the wire. But we don't have smart splitters yet. So I use the dumb ones, which split everything easily, evenly across the uh, belts. And when you move the uh, 
it's sometimes easier to just not use those biomass gen um, burners anymore because they're there but they're so easy to make you can set up your own next to all of your uh, converters where it goes leaves and wood and mycelia into biomass the problem with trying to overload everything into an awesome sink is that the awesome sinks themselves cost 30 megawatts or whatever and it's difficult for 30 kilowatts probably they are pretty power intensive even on coal power because it's 75 for base coal power generation and then 30 for the awesome sink so that's you know almost 40 percent because it does take two wire constructors to make one cable because it's 60 in wire to make 30 cable out or uh, yeah and each of these constructors only make 30 wire a minute and uh, but they come off of 15 ingots a piece and the 15 ingots come from the 30 and ingot minute smelter so you can split one smelter the two copper wire and two copper wire into a cable but i figured out how to balance uh, the cable in the cable production from leaving the wire because like this is a ton of wire that's being left out as opposed to like being fed into the cable but on the other hand the wire takes forever to be filled up into 500 stacks and the cable takes almost no time at all to be filled up into 200 stacks so the bin fills up relatively quickly until then we're gonna pause right here au revoir and until i behold you again auf wiedersehen